Sub-Zero wins flawless victory. Fatality. Not finish him! Sub-Zero wins friendship. Friendship? Sub-Zero wins. Sub-Zero wins. Sub-Zero wins. Sub-Zero wins. Sub-Zero wins. Sub-Zero wins. Finish him! Sub-Zero wins. Fatality. Finish him! Sub-Zero wins. Fatality. Fatality. Sub-Zero wins. Fatality. Sub-Zero wins. Fatality. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Fatality.
Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Fatality! Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Fatality! <laughs> Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. Sub-Zero wins. Fatality. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Brutality. You cannot win. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Brutality. You cannot win. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Brutality. Feel the chill of despair. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Brutality. I will freeze your soul. Sub-Zero wins. The battle is finished. Your quest for vengeance is over, Scorpion. You cannot kill a dead man. You have defeated my physical form, but my soul is eternal. You will pay for the massacre of my clan and family. Well done, Sub-Zero. Like your brother before you, you have served my purposes well. I serve no one. Not the Lin Kuei, and not you. Scorpion agreed to fight for us in exchange for freedom from the nether realm. A deal I had no intention of fulfilling. By killing him, you saved us the trouble. Both you and Scorpion were pawns for Shinnok. Scorpion! No! Our battle is finished. You are now freed from my curse. Live well, Lin Kuei warrior. After defeating the Deadly Alliance, Sub-Zero returned to the new temple of the Lin Kuei with the severely injured ninja, Frost. A short time later, I visited the temple to commend him for his victory in Outworld and to express my gratitude for all his assistance. 
With Sub-Zero now the Grandmaster of the Lin Kuei, Earthrealm will be well protected. On his way to the rendezvous point with Raiden and the others, Sub-Zero was ambushed by a band of Tarkatan warriors in the Living Forest. He tried to outrun them, but there were too many. He was quickly surrounded. Sub-Zero decided that his last living deed would be to vanquish as many of these barbarians as he could before he succumbed to death. As Sub-Zero began his attack, he felt his armor speak to him. It guided and strengthened each blow as he broke their limbs and crushed their skulls. At his feet, a dying Tarkatan warrior uttered the words, Long live the Dragon King. The Dragon Medallion, having amplified the godlike power granted him by his victory over Blaze, Sub-Zero was no longer a mere warrior, but an ice god. He was, however, a false god. He had become a deity without the consent of the Elder Gods, who sent their champions to hunt him down and destroy him. After the victory over Shao Kahn, Sub-Zero learned from Raiden the truth that the Lin Kuei were ultimately responsible for the deaths of both Sub-Zero's and Scorpion's families. Enraged, Sub-Zero offered Scorpion a chance to share in his quest for vengeance. With the might of fire and ice combined, they were a storm of vengeful fury as they cut down their foes. Once justice had been done, Sub-Zero and Scorpion disappeared into legend, emerging from obscurity only to avenge the innocent. The forces of darkness will never stop this deadly alliance. Grandmaster Sub-Zero knew his Lin Kuei clan would need more than martial arts to stave off future threats to Earthrealm. In the frozen reaches of Outworld, he found the answer. A female frost dragon with a clutch of eggs. With his ability to freeze, Sub-Zero hatched the dragonlings. They accepted their Lin Kuei masters and their training as combat mounts. With a force of dragon riders, the Lin Kuei's ferocity became legend. None dared risk conflict with Earthrealm 